How's it going, ladies and gents? It's Flack. Here we have the two-stroke. And here we have, that's going to be very difficult to see for some people. Now that's actually a little bit better. A borosilicate glass tube. Which will fit perfectly in the port of the two-stroke. So I'm going to put the clamp system on and uh, we'll run this thing. I want to see if we can see any uh, backfire or after fire in the tube itself so I might be running this at night as well or at least when it's dark Wow literally just put it in there and it's beginning to shatter great I don't think this is gonna last long you know I should record this just in case it could, does completely shatter when I'm putting these springs on which I hope it doesn't because I'm holding it and also then I'd have to clean it up. I normally stretch these on, but I don't want to stress the glass anymore because it appears that it's not the highest quality glass I've ever seen. This is supposed to be borosilicate, which I'm pretty sure is Pyrex, and Pyrex is supposed to be incredibly tough. Uh, but just putting it into the port made it crack a little. Go. Oh shoot. Whoa. That's not good. Okay. shattering more. I don't like it. Alright, yeah, this video is a fail. The pipe is just cracking more and more. And maybe if I don't slam it into the engine stand, it wouldn't do that, but it doesn't look like it's gonna work. Cricket! Shh. And I don't want glass in- you know what? I can't do this. This is just gonna destroy this engine. All right, so I swapped, swapped it to the other side. You can just see how much has broken off already. And it's not like the piston is hitting it or anything. I think it's just that when they cut this, I think there was a couple chips in it and that's caused a, a weak point. All right, yeah, I didn't even get to start it yet and that's already starting to chip too. This is done. That's a fail. Wah, wah, wah.